everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at Steve Young. He's number 81 on the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time list. This is a series brought out by NFL Films in 2010. Um, this particular video actually was brought out in 2016 on the NFL Films YouTube channel, but it was made in 2010. So, before we get into this one, I am going to do a little bit of research. Former professional American football quarterback who played 15 seasons and is best known for his 13 seasons with the San Francisco 49ers. He also played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Los Angeles Express of the United States Football League. Played college football for Brigham Young University, setting school and NCAA records en route to being runner-up for the 93, uh, 83 Heisman Trophy. He's 57 now, he's 6 foot 2, ran around at about 100 kilos, 3 times Super Bowl champion and 1 time Super Bowl MVP. Wow. Let's get into it. What's striking about Steve to me was a very, very bright. I mean, very bright. Same name as a category. <sighs> Rubber wedding and marching band. Yeah, wow. <laughs> what? From law school. I don't think he's ever practiced law. He can do whatever he wants. I always thought he would be the governor of Utah. While I was with him at BYU, we would go into Georgia. Steve threw six interceptions that day. Afterwards, I remember I was talking to him and saying, hey, man, we got to fix this or I'm going to be, you know, I've got little kids and you got to take care of them. <sighs> and then he led the nation in total offense and he'd have these remarkable games running and passing. And I thought, in my opinion, could have won the Heisman Trophy. Well, he was runner-up. Steve Young and Mike Holmgren were reunited. Sorry, just trying to sort, sort this lighting Young out. Young faced yet another challenge, being second on the depth chart behind Joe Montana. There's a side of him, like a lot of really bright guys, that he really thinks he knows how to do it better than his coach does. But he's smart enough to know this is the way I have to do it to be successful. To Steve's credit, when it came his time to play, he was ready. The greatest play I ever saw him make, or, and one of the great offensive plays I've ever seen in my life, was a run against the Vikings. The Vikings are winning the game with very little time left on the clock. Joe was hurt, Steve was playing, and we call a little three-step drop. Young, in trouble, he's going to be sacked now, gets away. He runs, gets away Ooh. again, goes to the 40. Young is in trouble, and he got away somehow. Fuck, he's beaten about six players. Seven. Stiff arm. Oh, look at him go. He just made it. 65 yard touchdown run, and we win the game. And during the course of the run, I stand up and I am punching the plexiglass window. And I break my hand. I just go, run, run. This block, right. This one. No, not this one. Fucking hell, what a run. This one right there. That's what got him the touchdown. That last one. To be great as Steve became Hall of Fame and all that stuff, he had to discipline himself as a thrower. I can't rely on using my legs to get out of this all the time. And with Steve, you know, you coach him, but he kind of figured these things out for himself. You gotta be able to put plays together without tripping, without throwing an interception. Alright? Let's put it together. And now he throws for the end zone. And he's got Owens and he catches the ball. Young so fast the game, isn't it? Legs and design. It's easy to forget that. It's easy to forget that when all in all of these um you know like quite dramatic sort of films how they slow it down a lot. It's very, you know, it's very theatrical. It's, it's easy to forget how fast the actual game is and I feel like I'm doing that sometimes. His career passer rating of 96.8 is the highest of any quarterback in NFL history. Let's check that. Let's check if anyone's overtaken him. Highest 
passing rating in NFL history. Ah, Peyton Manning is above him now. Oh no, Aaron Rodgers is number one, 104.93. Peyton Manning, 97.22. Steve Young, 96.81. There you go. You know, one of my favorite moments in football is you let the ball go, you get hit immediately. The bottom is piled. The only way you can tell what's going on because you're facing Ooh, the ball is to look and kind of watch the fans. Let it go. You know, he killed me. Uh, my last grand coaching game in Green Bay. What happened here? If you want to take one crack, maybe he's the guy you should go for. Young almost falls down, throws in the end zone. Does Bernie Kosa. See, fuck man, even that, that receiver taking that ball, that wouldn't have been easy, man. He saw four defenders around him. He knew he was going to get crushed, but he still caught it. Like, that's the stuff that I really appreciate in this game. Young played his best on the game's biggest stage, setting a record for the most touchdown passes in a single Super Bowl. With Five, six, six. In 1994. Yeah, one flat Ricky Waters makes the catch again. Touchdown 49ers. Look past to the goal line. Floyd Ball in. Touchdown 49ers. When he hit these points in his career where it wasn't what he thought it should be, he did something about it. Whether you're talking about the day six interception thing at BYU or his having to sit on the bench a little bit in San Francisco. In all those instances, he decided this isn't what I wanted. I want this, and he went and got it. Nice. So when he's holding that Super Bowl trophy, the elation, just the fantastic feeling you get from reaching the top of the mountain, uh, you could see it. It's the greatest feeling in the world, is it not? 39 And he's the quarterback too. Like, the quarterback winning a Super Bowl would just feel like it's the glue of the team, you know, it's, it's like, it'd just feel that much better being the quarterback, I assume, or that much more important to you, you know? Share this with every one of you guys. Everyone in this room made a commitment that we're there, that no one could ever, ever take it away from us, ever! That's right, man. That is right. Okay, what do we got here? Number 80, Troy Aikman. Well, you know what? We're going to save that one for next time, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you have enjoyed this video, hit like. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'll see you soon. Peace out.